Good evening guys and welcome to iPuntSmart.com. It's been a while since we've done a video and we have done quite a few additions and changes to the site, some improvements to the site, so it's probably about time to just run you through some of them. Uh, so let's get straight into it. The dashboard still looks uh, pretty much the same. As you can see, all the sports, we now have 16 sports on offer. We've included table tennis, tennis and esports. Um, so 16 in total now, including horse racing for South Africa with more to follow. Um, you'll also see that there is uh, quite a few more greenies per day now. Uh, greenies and uh, value picks as well. I'll, we'll get to that straight away. So from the dashboard, uh, you've got your all your sports here, all your favorite sports, and as well as the USA-based sports. So uh, you can click on the sports section here, and that will take you to the picks for the day. Um, so the picks is the ones that we have odds pulled in for you. As you can see, the odds here for this game is 1.57 for the home team. Um, and the away team 2.25. You'll also see new additions on the right hand side, which is what we call the mix, the same as what we have for South African horse racing mix, major impact categories. We have 15 mix in total, and I would just like to take you through that, um, those different mix. But before we get to that, have a look on the side here. We also now have a add to watch list. So when you add it to the watch list, uh, you can then go and access it here on the left top on your watch list itself. And uh, then uh, you help you there to fill in your betting sheet based on uh, all the ones on your watch list. Um, soon to come as well is the virtual punter as well as the live in play live in play showing you on one page all the different sports um, and the results updating on site uh, within 10 seconds of a result changing or a score changing um, so you can at all times then look at that result or look at that change in the score and compare that to the rating and make a decision based on that it will also update the odds for you as the score changes so on the top here, you have also see the new buttons for greenies. As you can see, there's 77 greenies uh, today across all sports, which is quite a lot. Um, and our greenies are running at uh, about 80% plus uh, probability. Um, if you can look at all the, diff uh, all the previous greenies as well, to see that by simply clicking on the date and changing it to a previous date to go and have a look at the previous day's results and go and analyze the previous day's results as well as go look at the last three days or even look at the next three days to get a, a next three day view if you're going away for some time and you want to make some some picks before you go away for a long weekend for instance okay so you can change your dates there on the greenies if you click on the greenies here you will see that uh, as i said there's 77 greenies for the day there's quite a few to to come still for the day um, as we uh, are only at six o'clock in the afternoon here. So uh, plenty to come still. And underneath that, you can also see the greenies that has uh, finished for you for the day so far. Um, and uh, in all the different sports that is, and um, at the bottom, which ones are still to come. So if we look at an example, for instance, let's look at uh, eSports. In eSports, we still have uh, four greenies coming for today in base baseball you'll see that that's finished now so if you open it up you can see that was uh, this morning at seven o'clock already where we picked the china trust brothers to beat the uni lions and uh, they they won 11 5 we picked them to win 8 6 with the major impact category 13 to 1 which is quite substantial uh, if you click on the actual uh, line itself it'll open a whole list of other uh, data for you that gives you a full breakdown of uh, the actual uh, game and all of our selections all of our ratings has the same schema for all 15 sports it's only horse racing that's different and i'll take you through horse racing in a while but uh, essentially it is split up between the head to hit and the rsi or relative strength index uh, 
section. So head to head, meaning these two teams, Uni Lions 2 against China Brothers 2 in, in this example, playing one another, playing each other. And then the RSI, meaning the relative strength index of all the games where both Uni Lions and China Trust Brothers played a third mutual team in the same tournament within the last two years. So in the example here, you'll see there's been eight games in history. And if you hover over the history, you'll see um, the home team has won one, the away team has won seven. So that's already tells you that the away team does look pretty strong there, seven out of the eight in history. And if you look at the home games, only of the five home games, um, the away team has won four out of the five, which is still, again, a very strong um, idea that the away team will win. Uh, you'll also see uh, below that the RSI games. There's been 27 of these RSI games for the home team, of which they've won 12. They've drawn none and they've lost 15. And for the away team, there's been 26 of those RSI. In, so in total, there's 53 RSI games, of which the away team, yeah, of those 26, they won 16. And they drew three and they lost seven. Um, you'll see the the average score in this instance uh, is 8.04 to 5.76 on all those RSI games. Again, the away team having the advantage here. And based on those 53 games, the away team has a 58% chance of winning, uh, a 6% chance to draw, and a 36% chance for the home team to win. So again, another good indicator that the away team will win here. But let's look at some more. The, 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 the historical and the relative strength index is also um, broken up into two portions, the one being the averages. And the averages is, as you can see here on the bars, um, the history, the home, the 18-month RSI, um, and the win draw loss percentage is all based on averages. Um, but if you look at the graphs at the bottom here, as well as our overall predictions, they are based on a combination of uh, history and home but uh, and RSI, but not only by averages, but also by a weighted average. Therefore, the most recent games counting more towards that team than the older games. In other words, the, the further away you go back from today to the two years that the data is displayed, the, the less that specific uh, game has a weight to carry in the prediction of uh, what we are predicting for this game today. So uh, at the bottom here, you'll see a whole lot of graphs um, and you can simply toggle them off if they are too much for you to handle by, uh, let's click, and click them all off, and you can see, for instance, in detail, a specific one. So in here, you can see the recent form of uh, the home team. Home is always in green, red is always, uh, away is always red. So when there's a positive figure, it is home. When there's a negative minus figure, it is away or red. Positive is home or uh, green. Um, and that works the same in all the sports that we have. So on here, you can also hover across and you can see the actual score, um, like 17th of March 2000, the Rakuten Monkeys 2 won, oh, sorry, lost 10-2. Uh, so they uh, had a net minus eight uh, that lost here as the home team when they uh, were doing the, the home team being Uni Lions 2. When they played Rakuten Monkeys 2, they lost 10-2 on the 17th of March. And each one of these, you can actually uh, follow and see uh, how their form is. Uh, also, you can add the curve to that and you can see how they, uh, they go on their curve and uh, whether they're picking up on form or not. And when you uh, add the actual momentum, um, which is based on linear regression, you will see that they are pretty steady on the close to the bar, starting on a minus 0.16 um, and ending on a minus 1.15. So they've 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 gone slightly worse in the last three months by about uh, one 
one hit only, but uh, so not a whole lot of difference in them, going slightly less. Let's now look at the away team and compare that and see, okay, well, the away team, uh, they, there's all their games. Um, and if I take the home part away again, you'll see, well, yeah, the away team has actually, they lost the game against Fubon Guardians, but before that they won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games on the trot. Um, how do I know they win? You can either hover across over it and you can see that they have won in this instance 11 to 1, so by 10. That's why you'll see the 10 is on the 10 line here. Uh, the zero line being in the middle here, so um, positive is that the away team won and negative is that they lose. It's the same with the home team. Positive is that they won and negative is that they lose. If there's too many of these dots for you, you can just simply look at the two curves in comparison and you can see here um, ever since around starting April, the away team has gone stronger, stronger, stronger um, and a recent dip here. But if you look at the actual Lillian regression between the two, you'll see they both started together um, on close to the zero bar. But Recently, the away team is a positive 3.23 and the home team is a negative 1.15, which means that between these two teams on the RSI bar, um, the difference between the negative 1.15 and the positive 3.23 is a difference of 4.43. To the away team that's why it's in red and that's why it's in a negative because it's the away team that has a minus 4.43 lead at the moment um on, on the the on the sorry my apologies um it's this rsi end value here yeah, because the end value is um, this is the end and this is the beginning so let's do that again on the beginning side um both of them started on top of each other and that's why you'll see it was a very very small difference of 0.04 on the RSI bar for the home team and the uh, finish at in this instance was a minus 1.15 for the home team um, as you can see the the legends at the top here showing you the home momentum here in yellow finishing at a minus 1.15 but the away team uh, the away momentum is uh, showing to you here in this uh, orange color is finishing on 3.23 and the difference between these two is a 4.39 uh, for the away team. So an advantage of 4.39 for the away team. Um, all of these points in all the different sports that you ever uh, are watching is always shown to you as a uh, whatever the sport is so if it's uh, if if it's goals in football or if it's sets in table tennis for instance for example um, then um, those will be will be shown to you like that so uh, as we can see here where it where it end the exact same also applies with uh, your head to head so um, we see now that on the RSI component, there is a different difference that the away team is getting stronger. Let's look at the head to head component and in the head to head games um, that we have here at the moment, we started off with the uh, a six four win for the away team and uh, three wins for the away team, then uh, a win for the home team and then four more wins for the away team. So that's quite clear that the away team has those seven wins that we've mentioned here with the one loss for the away team or one win for the home team. So that's the seven and the same with the curve. If you look at the curve, you see the curve always stays below the zero bar, which means that the away team is always been the dominant one here. And if you add the momentum, you'll see the momentum has started on a negative two or one point minus 1.98 and it's currently on a minus 4.15 so that's what you see at the top here a negative 1.98 where it started and currently at a negative 4.15 um, the 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 equals is the net 
um, of the uh, the two. So at the top you have the net head to head, which is the difference between the head to head start and the head to head end. In other words, in this example, the progress has been a further 2.17 for the away team or a minus 2.17 because it went from a minus 1.98 to a minus 4.15, therefore an additional gain for the away team of 2.17. On the RSI side, it started at 0.04, it has moved to a minus 4.39, so on the RSI side, also a gain of 4.43, again for the away team. So everything here is pointing towards the away team so far. Um, if you look at the one-year RSI, being the uh, one-year weighted of all the games that both teams has played within the last 12 months, you see a minus 2.28. As you can see here, it is at, it, it has been a minus 2.28 quite steady. If you move this on the RSI bar here, you can actually look down and see if there's any improvement recently been. Um, and in this case, there has been a improvement for the away team because it was 2.28 minus and over three months, still the same. Two months, it went to a 2.94 minus. A month back, it went to a 3.99 minus. So it all shows that away team is getting stronger. Now, um, as we can see from this, everything's pointing towards the away team. Um, then the values that you see at, on the right hand side here, first of all, these MIG values is all the different MIG categories that we've just explained. Um, in, and in a nutshell, they are the RSI, the head to head net, the head to head start, an RSI start, head to head end, RSI end, the RSI um, net, the head to head net, the net overall between the RSI and the, the head to head as well as the historical, as well as the 18-month RSI, the percentage of win, draw, loss, as well as the overall percentage, as well as the overall score. All of those together, there's in, in total 15 of these indicators. So when you see here that uh, the away team has got the indicators at 13 to 1, again, uh, very strong for the away team. Um, on top of that, you will see that, or next to it, you'll see the two values, uh, one on top of the other, a minus 4.27. Uh, the minus 4.27 is simply your head-to-head -head RSI end difference. In other words, your head-to-head -head ended on uh, minus 4.15, your RSI ended on minus 4.39, and the two of those together as an average is the away team with a minus 4.27. So again, showing that at the moment, on the most recent form, which is the end value, uh, it shows that the away team is about four clear on head to head as well as on RSI. So if you look at the start where they were at the RSI start and the head to head start, um, it was a lot less. Um, in fact, the RSI was a slight for, um, favor to the home team, and the head-to-head -head was uh, minus 1.98 for the away team. Um, but that is, has grown stronger for the away team now to currently be on a 4.15 and a minus 4.39. And the, the equal year, which is your net head-to-head, um, that you see here is simply the difference between these two as a minus 2.17 progress for the away team in other words the minus 4.15 that it is currently it started on the one minus 1.98 therefore a progress has been made of 2.17 for the away team on the rsi side the progress has been even bigger a progress of 4.43 for the away team and an average progress between these two of 3.3 for the away team, which is the minus 2.17 plus the minus 4.43 divided by 2 as an average of these two gives you the 6.6 .6 divided by 2 equals that 3.3 for the away team. And that's that 3.3 that you see there, which is the net progress, the top one being the the end form that we have between the two teams um, on, a, on a weighted average between head-to-head -head and RSI. And the bottom one is a smaller indicator, but very important, purely based on does the one team make the gap close? 
um, is there a smaller gap? Is the gap gap getting smaller? In other words, if the gap is getting smaller, in this case, it would have shown in green. But in this case, the gap is also showing in red. So the gap is getting bigger. The end result is showing a minus 4.27 on the head-to-head -head RSI end value. And it's grown from the start with a 3.3. So that all of this says the away team should win this, which they clearly did. They won 11-5. Okay. Every single sport works in the exact identical same way. Um, if you wanted to add that to the wish, 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 a watch list, you can simply go and click and add that to the watch list. And I'll show you how to access that watch list later. Let's bring these back. You see there is a whole lot if you add them all together. But they actually make a lot more sense if you actually just... Uh, if you actually just uh, tick them one by one. Just on that extension, what that basically means is if the end value doesn't end on the most recent day, we uh, make that even easier for you. And if I can show you here what I mean with that, we, um, we, we look at where the linear regression is supposed to finish um, given how it's, it's, um, it's going at the moment. So um, if I take that, and you see, okay, well, um, the home momentum is clearly going downwards. The away momentum is clearly going upwards. So the away, is, uh, the away team is getting stronger. But the most recent, they didn't finish at the same place, which is now on the 2nd of June or the 3rd of June. So the extension would simply then just take that um, to, to the end here to see based on it is at 3.23 for the uh, away team. But if we have extended that, it would have actually ended a little bit stronger, as you can see, because the linear regression is going upwards. So it would have ended a little bit stronger from 3.23 even to 3.37, it making the away team even stronger based on this. So um, that's what the extension is all about. So um, it is actually uh, quite easy to read why um, w when you get used to it. Uh, Green is always home, red is always away, positive is always for the home team, negative is always for the away team. You can see the curve here, you can see the, the momentum for both teams here, you can start on the actual head-to-head uh, -head games in blue here, you can see the head-to-head -head linear curve between the two teams whether the momentum is going up or down. If it goes down, it goes for the away team. If it goes up, it's going for the home team and the momentum extension. Okay. In a nutshell, that is the same for each and every different sport. So if I, for instance, go and have a look and apply that today, let's look at our value picks. Um, we have a value pick today here. Now, a value pick is, uh, first of all, um, has to be better than... Uh, 120% return, which it is, it's 162% return. Uh, the next thing that it has to be also is uh, that uh, the percentage must be above 55%, which it is here yeah, for the home team. So in this case, uh, it's, a, it's a nice value bet because 14 of the 15 MIG indicators is all po pointing towards the home team, Bastrauchenko. Um, and let's delve into this a little bit more in, in, in this game and see how uh, what that looks like. Um, so uh, I'm going to start with looking at history. Bastrachenko won four of them to nil, which uh, already clearly shows that he loves this opponent. At home, the same applies. He's won on average 3-1 overall and 3-0 at home. There's been 55 RSI games for him and 29 for the away team. He's won 30 and lost 25. The away, uh, Derevenski, has won 15, lost 14. So he's ahead there with a 52% to a 48% um, on the RSI. But given he's got a uh, much stronger head-to-head -head history, percentage that has brought the overall percentage up to a 55.56 percent the net average rsi score is a 2.18 to 1.89 so slight edge there for the home team as well and let's go have a look at the most recent form as well um, we'll see okay 
Yeah, the home team has actually, the home guy has actually won one, two, three, four, five of his last five games. So he's clearly in very good nick. Uh, and let's look at the away team. Not as great because the away team has only won one of last six. So clearly the away team is not in the best of form. And if you take the curve here, and you, you can clearly see that uh, the away team was stronger and has most recently cut through the home team where the home team has gone up and is much better now. If you, um, if you compare the momentum, there's your momentum for the home team. Started on the zero bar more or less and finished on the 1.18. The away team started stronger on the 0.79 but has since gone down to a minus 0.33. Hence, you can see there that it started with the away team being stronger. Uh, most recently, the home team is 1.52. So the net effect between these two is the home progress of 2.41. Clearly quite a progress for the home team as far as sets is concerned. And the the head-to-head the -head between these two, the home team started better um, and most recently was winning even more aggressively and we can see that on the actual uh, if i take those out we can see that on the head to head most recently uh one by three which obviously is most recent and one also that one by three null as well so it does seem like the uh the, the curve is uh, clearly going in the right direction here which is upwards for the home team which is great to see that the home team it's looking stronger here, but for some reason is at 16 to 10, um, and the the way is at 4 to 10. So uh, I would say that the home team is clearly a value pick in this example. Yeah. So um, that's how the system generates these value picks automatically for you. You don't even have to do the work. It's there. So let's go to any specific sport now. Um, as you can see, all your value picks is here. All your IPS picks is here. IPS picks has to be above 60% to qualify and has to be above 12 out of 15. So here you can see it's 60% and there you can see it's 13 out of the 15 um, to be and also must always be above uh, a 1.3 return to be uh, an IPS pick. So you'll see all of these that's here for there's loads of them for the day. In fact, there's 21 of them in total. Um, and uh, you can clearly just uh, pick them here or you can do your homework yourself. And how do we do that? We go to table tennis as an example and as we have 483 games for today you'll see there's your 40 greenies in table tennis there's your 30 ips picks and your one value pick there you also see that you can do your searching here you can either change back to the previous days or the future days here you can go to the various leagues well in this case it's only men and women or you can go to the specific tournament we have the tt cup ukraine we have the star series liga pro russia set cup cup and win cup to choose from um, the other if you're looking for a specific person like let's use this one for an example Elastratov, you can simply click there and you can go and type in Elastratov and uh, and there is all your Elastratov games one two three four of them for Elastratov today to be able to find them there so Let's have a quick look at our filters. And if you look at your filters here, all of those things that I explained to you, you can have a data reliability. So uh, if you don't want to have any games with a low amount of data, you can take out the caution if, or you can take out the fair as well and only look at good data. You can sort for only fixtures that has odds and you can take odds within a specific range from 1.3 up all the way to five. You can also have your own win draw loss percentage here by saying, okay, I want all the games that gives me, say, above 60%, or let's make it 65% even. Um, and your relative strength index only win draw loss percentage must say be above 60%. B BTTS is both teams to score. That's for football. If you want to see which is high probabilities for both teams to score. And then you can also use your filters on the RSI end momentum, the RSI net momentum, the head-to-head -head net momentum, and the overall momentum. 
as well as what we call the power trio indicator, which is uh, is your RSI in your head-to-head -head and your overall all pointing in the same team for any specific strength. Um, you can use that filter as well. Or let's just use the MIC filter in this example. Like we just said now that um, the stronger, the closer to 15 your MIG is, the better it is. So let's use an example here and say, okay, I'm going to take only the games where my MIG is at least 12, where I have an overall withdrawal loss percentage of at least 65%. And I have an RSI window loss percentage of at least 60%. Um, and I'm just going to take the fixtures with odds out at the moment because there may not be that many to, to filter and apply that filter. And now it will run through the 543 games and just apply those to you as a filter. Um, and as you can see here, given um, these games is already finished this morning, that is quite a strong filter because that one, that one, there's a loss there, one, 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 there's a loss, there's a more, more winners, win, 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 and win, win, win. So on this page, which is 20 on a page, we have found two losers, so 18 winners out of 20, pretty good 90% return, just using that to filter as you have there. And you found 20 games here, let's see if there's another page with some more of them, yep, there is some more, there's actually some more coming for tonight still, there's one, two, three, four, five more winners, no more losers, there's another two winners, so that's 27, 25 winners out of 27, pretty decent for your Yankees to just pick them off and say thank you very much Mr. Bookie. You'll also find some really good odds here. Uh, that one is a 57% return, a 53% return. Uh, that's a bit low. 28% return, that's not too bad. 36% return, a uh, bit low. 20, 36% return on that one. Let's go and have a look at the next page if we have some more because we're now, okay, there's no more. So we had 40 for the day, which is pretty decent uh, for one day um, on only table tennis. A lot of opportunity for you. Um, and let's have a look at some other odds. There's a 40%, there's a 57%, there's not good, 44%, 57%, 40% uh, there. And a lot of these games also, the odds changes a lot during the game. So say for instance, your, your, your team, your man lost the first, then all of a sudden you, you get about 15 to 10 for him if he loses the first. And a lot of these games doesn't go 3-0. Always 3-1, uh, 3-2. So, uh, a lot of opportunity in table tennis, I have to add. Let's have a look at tennis. Let's just see there's not as many. There's 63 games for you today, but you can apply your own filters there as well. You can see, let's use that uh, that same filter we had there now. 60% uh, on win draw loss, 65. RSI, 60%. Mid points at least a 12 and let's supply and see if there's any of those coming and indeed you do have um, and there's been two of them finished that's one already um, in tennis as well mr afanasenko this is guest uh, 13 and a half to 0 0.5 that's clearly a, a win for the for the home team um, so we can utilize these filters on, uh, on on all the sports in the same instance. As soon as the lockdown is complete, you'll also see a lot of other sports being populated here. Yeah, already we can see a lot of football happening. Um, quite some, some nice football uh, representation today um, and tonight still, still coming. So uh, lots there. Uh, with football, you have to keep in mind that uh, you have a third option. You've got win, a draw or a loss. So therefore, there's better odds involved. But there's also uh, three choices and you only make one of the three. So the bookies is a bit more in favor for football because uh, you you obviously see more upsets in football. So uh, that being said, let's just use that same filter and see if we have anything. 65% uh, RSI. 60%, big points 12, and there's very very few that that filter actually happens in, in football. And as you see there, no, it doesn't. Let's see if it happened yesterday. No, it didn't. Let's see if it happened on Tuesday. No, it didn't. Let's see if it happened on Monday. No, it didn't. On Sunday. Yay! There was one game on Sunday where it qualified, and as you can see, a clear runaway winner, Alton Azir, beating Energetic 4-0.
So it doesn't happen often in football, but you don't have to always bet in football. You can uh, choose on any of your 16 sports. Okay, so I've spent a half an hour on sports. I'm just going to quickly, quickly wrap it up with a quick look at horse racing as well. So let's go and have a look at some horse racing. Um, and tomorrow we have Fairview, we have Turpentine, we have Hollywood. Yesterday we had Kenilworth, today at the Vol. Um, I just wanted to show you some th quick things of the, uh, um, what we have um, for horse racing. In horse racing, we have 20 MIG indicators as well. Um, uh, if you look at that and want a clear explanation of all of this, you can simply click on this button here, Ratings Explained, and you can read through what each and every one of these icons means and what each and every one of these MIG categories means um, with an explanation of all of them. So I don't want to give you a full rundown here because of the time, but quickly though, there's 20 of these columns. You can sort on any one of these specific columns um, and it'll sort the specific race meeting for that one. The standard default is T curve, which is total curve, um, total with your bat curve. Um, your bat curve is, uh, is is simply a combination of bum roll and adjusted time per meter. What is bum roll? Best average merit rating adjusted lengths behind. It basically, it levels the playing fields, takes all previous handicapped races, um, the average handicap of the field in relation of the previous race that that horse ran in against the average handicap of the field or merit rating of the field today. And it takes that adjustment into action. It also takes any change in weight for an appy allowance or uh, any other allowance or any weight change into account. And it also takes into account the distance change. And if you see the values here in green, it means that these values were obtained over the same distance category as we are running today. If you see them in red, it means that they are not, um, uh, so therefore they cannot be trusted um, because they were over a different distance category. And I'll see if I find an example here for you. Uh, but uh, but if they are very low numbers, the lower the better. Um, so if they are red and very low, there's a red number there for you. If they, if they are red and very low, um, then you have to, uh, to take that into account. So let's just see if we find any of these red, red numbers so I can show you some examples. Um, Okay, here we go. So there's some examples. You can click on that number and you can it actually takes you to the detail of the horse every single run. It's 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 run all the past history is here. The distance, the course, the, the, the class of race, the jockey, the draw, the weight, the uh, gear that it that had elements and blinkers in that case, the opening betting, the starting price, the merit rating, the adjusted time, the speed rating, the medium speed, the, the exact distance, medium speed, in other words, the the medium speed but over the exact distance that's why some of them is x's because it's only those two that qualify for 1600 meters bum 42 is the last 42 days bum 84 last 84 days bum 168 last 168 days or 24 weeks and the bum c the last 252 days um, the same with the bet uh, the the difference between bum and bet is simply that the bet takes the adjust the time of that record into um, into account when it looks at the bat. So uh, I haven't updated this result, so let's just update this result so I can uh, show you some uh, some examples based on the results as well. Here we see very high P stats. Now, what is P stats? Um, P stats is essentially looking at every single race we have rated before for the same course, in this case, the vol and the same distance, in this case 1600 meters, and the same class, in this case a class C event. So we have rated 10 of these, and of those 10, um, we see some some high P stat values here. Um, the first box rated one to three means the top three rated in any one of these categories. So you can filter on these and the top three would give you Apollo Robbins, Follow My Path, and River Jordan. If you click on the GRA, then the top three would be True Words, Baby Let's Mumbo, and Ideal Wolf. So it depends on which column you are filtering on. But as you can see here, we've got a very high probability 
in fact, an 80% chance or 8 out of 10 previous chances of the top three rated horses on GRA to win in this case. Now, those would be true words, maybe that's Mumbo and Ideal Wolf. But if you change this rated one to three to a, just a top rated, you'll see that the top rated horse on GRA has a 50% chance on the past experience. In other words, a five out of 10 times and this horse is at 9 to 1. So he has a 50% chance to win on the last 10 races, but still he's at 9 to 1. In fact, he has a 60% chance to win on ORA, which is overall ranking. Now, he has the best overall, overall ranking in the field, and um, he has a 9.82% advantage on the rest of the field on overall ranking. That's the XP percentage, a 9.8% chance. And then quite a drop to the next 29%, 30%. So True Words was quite a strong runner here. He, in fact, had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of the 20 indicators covered. You could argue he had another two here because he has also got a zero, but a very decimal point difference between him and Baby Let's Mumbo. So he could have had 12 out of 20 here. So let's have a quick look at this one. He's got very good form, um, and you seem to think that he's got the form over Flamingo Park, but he actually does have the form over the Vol course as well, um, which he finished first year with a very good minus 2.05 uh, BUM 168 value. Obviously, with the lockdown, there's no BUM 42s, uh, and there's only a few BUM 84s, so that will be populating as uh, racing continues here in South Africa again. But you have also got some very strong um, form here on the bums, and even so strong that his last run on, based on his uh, bat figure, with the, that's the adjusted time with the bum roll figure combined, he also has a zero value on bat, zero being the best, the lowest you can go. Um, so, so very strong. He, the, he, he was only beaten by his stable mate, which is at a ridiculous price of 36 to 1, baby let's mumbo. But given that uh, they both have zero, he could have won those two categories to make it 12 categories as well. He's got the best overall ranking. He's got the best greeny points. Greeny points being um, the amount of points out of a, a total of 20 for uh, calculating when a horse will be a greeny. Uh, anything from 15 onwards is greenies. So greenies is very strong probability that we make them greenies. We highlight them in green because uh, they are, have a very strong probability to win. Clearly, this one has a strong probability to win as well based on P stats, a 6 out of 10 chance on ORA and a 5 out of 10 chance on GRA, as well as a 3 out of 10 on adjusted time, a 2 out of 10 on speed rating, a 4 out of 10 on BUM84, a 4 out of 10 on top total with with that curve and a five out of ten on form so clearly lots to look forward on this runner and uh, needless to say it does show that p stat still rules he clearly a, a value bet at 900 percent return for a 50 percent chance uh, you gotta have to take it which clearly we did and it won at the bottom here, you could also read the editor's notes. Well, you can also see the editor has made this the number one pick. And there's a write-up of every single race at the bottom here that you can read. Potentially the toughest race on the card today, Merit 78 over 1600. But the P stats does the support a very big value bet. 10 to 1 in true words, a 60% chance to win on 10 previous P stats on ORA, supported by a 50% on GRA, as well as form 40% T curve, as well as BUM 84, 30% on adjusted time, and BUM C. It owns 10 out of the 20 mid categories at 10 to 1, a pretty decent value proposition. Needless to say, uh, it won worthwhile to put put the money down. Um, and you can also uh, see all these other uh, races that, uh, that we've ra rated today. We had the top rated in this race far and away at 12 to 1, which literally lost by a nose. And uh, out of the top four rated, we had the trifecta uh, in race seven. Yeah, let's see what happened there. 
we had the top rated Celtic C, which which duly won, and the next race, race six, yeah, let's have a look what, uh, ah, we had the top rated Eskimo Kisses, that won, and clearly the top three again took the trifecta, so we're not too bad, in fact, we are by far the best in South Africa when it comes to horse racing, anywhere in the world, South Africa is our playground for horse racing, so, uh, you can also use these p-stats uh, in another way if you're looking for value to place you can change that to top rated and you can change this to say uh, placed one to three so let's have a look at that quickly and you say oh okay uh, our strongest chances we have here is 66 uh, uh, percent on speed rating and a 66 on median speed and a 66 on super rule percentage etc um yeah you can you can actually um look for some stronger percentages let's go back to our true words example and see what that chance was to place today top rated to place well you have yourself a pretty decent 90 percent chance to place 80 percent on ora gra 80 so some very strong uh, place prospects as well if you didn't want to back it to to win but if you get 60 percent chance to win why don't you um top rated to place here yeah. Let's have a look. Um, there's another great example. 100% chance on ORA and on GRA for Indigo to place. So there's your PA banker because he also has 100% on BAT84, 100% on BAT C, and far and away has 100% on BUM168 to place, and a 75 on T curve, and a 75 on intent. Pretty decent stuff to back that. Um, at some really good odds. Last I wanted to mention was we also uh, we also adjust our T-curve total points based on which trainers and which jockeys does the best during the day, if you so wish. How do we do that? You click on ODRIA and you'll see in this example how Skimanac has moved on because um, when you click on the ODR and you just you you add your your ODR it actually goes and allocates points for any trainers and jockeys and draws and distances that works which are inside draw outside draw or with the better jockey or better trainer works for the day and you can see these points here in the example Candace Dawson for instance got two extra points on ODR uh, P.S. Tradon got one, Erico Verdenese got two, Sean Terry had a good day by the looks of it, he had six extras. If you click on Sean Terry and you want to know what that six is all about, you'll see an ODR score, he got six, he got in race two, he got one, he got race three, he got three, race six, he got two, and race seven, he got one. So that's how he got his ODR score, given that seems Gavin Lorena had a good day as well, because he had another three on, uh, on ODR as well. So uh, that's how you can add your ODR and uh, and see your ratings evolve as the day goes on. Just to add, if you click on the horse, it gives you all the previous history and it also gives you his pedigree, how long he's run, how much his rest days, win place percentage, merit rating, has he been gelded, who's the owners, who's the breeders. Also, if you click on the trainer, you also get all the trainer details, ranking in the country, win, win place stats for the season, with this jockey for the track on the life how long it's been since his last winner for the trainer odr score he's ranking in the country's win place stats for the specific trainer stats at the track stats his life stats and as we can see here he had a decent run with this horse 100 percent chance to win uh, and if we're going to check that we see yes there he is he was first on the previous occasion which they ran so the the, the data is a lot and uh, it is well worthwhile to make yourself fully acquainted with it. Uh, just looking at these uh, indicators here, you'll see that flame hot means he goes, he's very hot when he comes back from a rest. Um, that's obviously being scalded. That uh, means he's maybe hot and cold when he comes back. Sometimes he's good, sometimes he's, he's not good. That means uh, he's getting older now, he's on the old side, but uh, all of those is explained here in your ratings explained, um, and you can read through them here what all of these means. Okay, the video is already on 50 minutes, so maybe it's time to just uh, close out. Um, there'll be uh, lots of videos specific to each and every 
sport so this was just clearly a quick rundown uh, I'd like to add here at the bottom you have uh, exp one two three four five and we advise exp one and exp two is for your pa and bipod and exp three four five you add for pick six and jackpot purposes um that it's very seldom that we have exp five but um so if you're playing your exotics you can have your exotics here i don't know if there was any big 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 Big, big value winners today. We obviously had Skimanak was easy to find. True Words was our best top rated. So that was easy to find. Uh, Celtic Sea was top rated. So yeah, easy to find. I'm just checking if we won the pick six today. Yeah, Eskimo Kisses, another top rated. Very easy to find yet again. Uh, ooh, Elusive Jack. Ooh, this looks like a trouble one. Let's have a look at the Elusive Jack here. Only runner for Heinrich van der Westhuizen, claims Appy, Jeffrey Seister, gets blinkers fitted today, and it was what race? Race 5, number 9, uh, let's see if we had, yeah, we do have race 5, number 9 in our EXP2, uh, so we would have gone through on Elusive Jack there at 33 to 1, quite a nice, uh, that would make quite a decent change on the pick 6, I would imagine. And, uh, ah, well, there we have the top four. So uh, top four actually, uh, uh, top four runs the quartet. So, yeah, we would have won the pick six today, which is pretty nice. Nice to know. Guys, there's also a connect site. Um, if we have more members, then everyone can, can talk to each other and uh, send messages and screenshots and voice clips, etc. Um, and give you advice there. The in-play will be up and running probably by the end of this week, uh, if we're lucky, otherwise very early next week, which essentially will take all our sport that is live in play onto one page that you uh, get your result updated there as it happens. And you can compare that against the actual rating that we have to find value for that specific event. Guys, in a nutshell, that's it. Sorry it had to be so quick, but uh, uh, we will obviously be doing a lot more of these and specific to each and every sport. So uh, I will add these to our YouTube channel um, called iPunt Smart, and you can please subscribe there to be notified for any further video updates. These video updates will also be available and updated for you here on this i button that you can see ratings explained and you can read and you can also see the actual video for how to read those ratings so very easy for you if you then take the time to have a look before you start investing the data is there it's very accurate you won't find a better source of information, we believe. So do make use of it. Before I leave, last thing, watch list. You can click the watch list on the side here. You can go back to previous day's watch lists and my watch list for today. Um, let's see what I actually had for my watch list today. I had a baseball game. Yeah, that was a, that was a greeny, that one. I had some table tennis games and they have all won as well so that's very good and uh, let's see what uh, what else uh, is that it that I had? okay that's that's it we had on the watch list today but uh, simply you can add those to your watch list and you can go back and look at previous days watch lists as well horses uh, that you are uh, not horses any other sports but not horses apologies for that so uh, you can go and have a look and see how those populate and see that you uh, can find those winners and you can do your studies analysis and add them to your watch lists that'll help you in your uh, in doing your betting sheet and as you can see there you can see the exact same details of everything uh, the same as what you would see on the normal page um, on the watch list as well. So all the details are there for you. In table tennis, you can see there's a lot of work, at, a lot of dots at the bottom here because these guys play a lot of times per day. In fact, like they, there you have the 1st of June, um, 1st of June, 1st of June, 
the second of June. So he played lots of games on the first of June. So that's why there's in table tennis there's so many dots. Um, I hope you have found this helpful, guys. Make use of your filters. Do have a look at your MIC categories um, in conjunction with your overalls. And if I say overalls, uh, it's the overall score year is a, a, as well as your overall percentages year. Um, and there's the, the, the detail score year. Um, your odds is found there. Uh, I haven't mentioned this. This is a range of the number of points slash sets slash goals that we find for any uh, for the home and the away team in the home in green, the away in red, and in blue, the total for the specific match. So that is when you're playing, looking for total points. Um, as an example, I'll just quickly show you some baseball examples, or I'll make it what's another game, uh, basketball maybe. Is there any part? No, there's no basketball today. So um, let's do some hockey. Let's see if we've got some any ho any hockey uh, results that's been completed yet. Um, you can use those for your actual ranges between the two um, to, as totals, or for the home team, or for the away team. So that's how they can be used, guys. It's it's almost an hour, so um, hope it's not been too long for you. Hope it helps, and uh, uh, may we see you around soon in the near future. Have a lovely night.